What's up guys? Have you ever tried to get yourself into a lock? I know I sure have. And that's why we're gonna be trying some lock picking hacks by Power Vision. I'm excited to see if any of these work. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is our coat hanger. Then we have to go and grab ourselves a pipe. Oh yes, this old light stand should work perfect. <laughs> Oops, I'm just gonna put that right there. Looks good. Then we're gonna grab maybe some uh, wire cutters. Now that we have everything we need, we're gonna go ahead and cut this long part right here. Then we take our pipe and then we bend it around. Oh yes. This was actually so much easier than I thought it would be. Then we bend this over. Then we go ahead and bend this boy around. So far, it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna break out an anvil real quick. Oh, okay. Just take this bad boy. Then I'm gonna channel my inner blacksmith. Woo. Are anyone else's ears ringing? So I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna get it extra hot. The instructions didn't say to do this, but I'm gonna do it because I just wanna be a blacksmith boy. As you wish, my lord. Part of me feels like I should be wearing gloves right now. Look how nice and hot that's getting. It's just gonna be so easy to forge. Okay, and it is nice and flat. So now we take this, then we're gonna take our file, and just start filing it down. Then we do the other side. I think that ought to do it. Then we have to sand all the sides down. Not bad, not bad. Now they didn't say to make a pick as well, but I'm also gonna make a little pick out of just this little piece right here. Okay guys, so now I have my little mover and I have the actual pick guy. I think I'm supposed to bend this ever so slightly so that it can go into the lock. Oh, that goes pretty deep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bend it. I can already feel it giving a little bit, that's weird. This is a little more tricky than I thought. Just to confirm guys, it does unlock. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but I'm gonna keep trying for a little bit and hopefully I can get it. One eternity later. Guys, I know absolutely nothing about picking locks. I'm gonna try some tweezers instead. Oh. <laughs> guys, I'm not having any luck with this. Like zero luck has been had so far. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna give this another another minute. And if I can't do it, I'm just gonna say that this one didn't work for me because I'm a loser. <gasps> I felt some give. Okay, I completely messed up my tweezers and I'm just gonna have to say that this one uh, didn't work for me. I couldn't get it to work and it makes me really sad. <gasps> okay, on to the next one. <laughs> Okay guys, so here our matches. I'm really hoping that this one works. This one seemed really cool and it seemed really legit, but I haven't really been having very good luck lately. Okay, now it's time to start squishing some match heads and we're grinding it up into a fine powder. Oh, this is gonna take so long. That looks like a good amount. Now we just take our screwdriver and just start grinding it up. That looks like quite a bit of powder. Now we just wrap our wire hanger around our lock. It's proving to be harder than I thought. I'm just having a hard time with this. So in Power Vision's video, they made it look way easier to bend the wire. I think they might have used like analed wire or something really soft, but I feel like you'd need harder wire for this because it has to kind of take the weight of a rubber band. I'm already starting to feel like that's not even real, which kind of bums me out. 
Oh yes, there we go. Hopefully that'll do it. Then I'm gonna take this thing from earlier and just snip it down. And now that we got our pick thing made, we just have to fill this with all of our fine match powder. I really hope I have enough to do this. It looks like they sort of just sharpened a match and then used that to help shove all the match powder down inside of it. Now I'm gonna grab my tiny vise and put it inside of my tiny vise. There we go. Some of the powder came out, so I'm gonna refill that. Okay, now we grab this little guy, stick it right in there, and we put a rubber band in between them. Okay, there we go. Now all we gotta do is light this bad boy. Apparently this is just gonna light on fire and then the whole thing will just unlock. I wonder if it's gonna work. I really hope it does. Oh, 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 whoa! It like shot out. Dude, that scared the heck out of me. But it didn't unlock it. Dude, that was so weird. But it's still very much locked. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one also doesn't work, which is really a bummer because I, I really thought that one might work. That was really cool. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a battery. Then we just cut off the outside casing using a razor. This feels kind of dangerous to me, not gonna lie. I'm gonna try, ah! How do I stab myself with a screwdriver and not the razor? So then we get some wire cutters and just snip it off. Do we just have too high quality of a battery here? Is Duracell just too good for us? Ow! Stab myself with a screwdriver again. Okay, now all the battery stuff is coming out. I don't think that this is safe. Okay guys, I'm gonna try this with a nine volt battery instead. Why does this feel so scary? Okay, you guys ready? Oh, I did it! And this is what the inside of a nine volt battery looks like, I guess. Interesting, very interesting. So we have our little lead cells and then we have our little acid cells and then it goes and then it makes electricity somehow. Anyway, we're not after that, we're after this. We're after the sweet, sweet metal. So now that we have this, we're gonna take our tin snips and just snip it on down. Why did that not turn out very nice? It tries so hard. I'm gonna try it with these. Oh, that works so much better. What good are you guys? Good, good. I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit. Guys, why am I so bad at cutting metal? I'm just gonna try using some scissors. What the heck? Dude, these scissors work so much better. Look how clean that is. Oh my God. Guys, if you ever do this, I highly recommend using a pair of scissors. That was so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this guy out just a little bit. Oh, I just hit my camera lens. Then we cut almost like a little T. Guys, look, it's a Teen Titans logo. <laughs> I mean, it's just a T. I definitely think I might have made that a little too big. So I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit. Here we go. And we just go and slide this down into there somehow. I think I have to bend the metal a little bit more so that it'll fit to actually go inside the lock. I'm gonna try it on a round screwdriver. Let's see if we can fit it in there. Oh, I'm gonna try cutting it down just a little bit more. Let's hope this actually does it. Okay, you ready? Just gotta slide it down in there. They don't even leave like any room in there for you to really slide a piece of metal. I think I did it. I, oh, it's getting in there. Once I get it in there, I have to twist this and put the tab on the outside, these little wings. And that's if I'm even getting the right side. Am I even getting the right side? Oh, it is the right side. So there's like a little thing holding it right there. I think I understand now. I'm gonna try this again. We got it in there. I'm gonna try and twist it. Oh, she's twisting. She is, in fact, twisting. You can do it. Maybe the other way. Guys, I don't know why this isn't working. Did I break it off inside of there? Oh no, it's still there. Okay, I just opened this up to help me twist it a little bit. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it! I just broke it off inside of there. Oh my gosh, I hope it still opens. Okay, I got it out. I'll try it again. Gonna make another one. We're gonna try this again. This time in the clamp. Come on, please. Just get in there for me. Please. Ah! I would be the worst spy in all of history. Guys, it doesn't wanna work. And it is ripping again. 
Guys, it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. <gasps> Do any of these work? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a motor, and then apparently they got some sort of pick and just soldered it right onto the little motor. I don't really have a professional pick, but I have this one that I made out of a coat hanger from earlier, so maybe that'll work. I'm gonna try bending it just so I have a little more surface area when I solder it. This was kind of flat. They also had some sort of weird weighted thing to throw it off balance, so when it spins, it vibrates. Now, I don't have one of those things either, but I do have this little wheel that sort of came with the set. So I think, if I put it in, boop, and then cut everything around this except for one side, that should make it unbalanced. I'm gonna try it using our new soldering gun. This thing is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that is hot. I can smell plastic burning. I can smell chemicals breaking down. I don't know if this is what this was meant for. That's looking promising. That is so much smoke. And hopefully that about does it. This may work, this may not work. We don't really know. I feel like I need something heavier. It also might be a little bit too long. Ah! I'm sure that's fine, right? That's gotta be fine. Now get the battery connector and attach it to the motor. They soldered theirs on, but I am way too lazy for that. I am just going to twist it right on. Now we're gonna connect the battery. I mean, it's kind of vibrating. I'm sure that'll be enough. Take these connectors back off. Now let's get to soldering. Oh wow, there's like a little magnet that holds this in place. I forgot that motors have those. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the top of it instead of the side, just so I have a little bit more clearance. Now we take our soldering iron and heat up the surface. I think that's how you uh, solder. I haven't soldered since I was in middle school. So let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, I got plastic on it. That's nice and hot. Let's see if the solder will work. Oh, that's heating up. I don't remember being this bad at soldering, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna glob all of it on there. And hopefully that'll work. I need some vice grips to hold it up. Oh, my soldering technique is really bad. This is the first time I've soldered in probably 15 years. So give me a break. And does the motor still work? We're good. So now we're gonna need a base to put this on. I just got a little piece of wood. And then they took like a weird little rubbery part from a syringe. I don't really have a syringe right now. So I'm just gonna take this Nerf gun dart and cut that tip right off. Boom, I'm sure that'll do the exact same thing. I think it might be a little too tall. So I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Or you know what? I could even make it two layers. Get a little bit of super glue and just glue these bad boys right on. Oh, that's way too much super glue. Oh, it got on my finger. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Put myself in a predicament I have. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and glue that right on there. And then we go ahead and zip tie it on just to really make sure this thing stays on. There is no way that that thing is going anywhere. Next, we're gonna take one of these little links off and add our little switch. They put theirs on the top, but I'm just gonna super glue mine to the side because I don't think it's really that necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie the switch on. Okay, there we go. Start wiring up our switch. Just wrap that around the remaining. And last but not least, I'm gonna zip tie a battery onto this thing. Okay, you ready? Oh, it's working! But will it unlock this lock? We're about to find out. So we shove it up in there. Come on. Just jimmy it in there. Okay guys, so this doesn't seem to be working. We're gonna try and make it vibrate even more by adding a screw to this little turning thing. It feels so precise. I don't know how well this is gonna work, guys. This feels extremely dangerous to me. I almost should wear eye protection at this point. Oh my God. That's definitely a lot faster. Ah. Am I not doing this correct? Like. Okay, guys. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but this one's just not working. Also, I just broke my little motor. So, 
I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, just doesn't work. So that's kind of a bummer because I was actually really looking forward to this working. Uh, so rip doesn't work. Do any of them work? Do any of them work? Okay guys, so the only paper clips I had were these ones with the little plastic on it. So what I'm gonna have to do is take the little plastic sheath off. Oh, that was easy. Okay, there we go. Now I just have to flatten this bad boy. I'm gonna try doing that on my vise. Just gonna flatten it out. I mean, that's kind of working. So now we're just gonna go ahead and make the little ridges using our pliers, just like that. There we go. So now I'm gonna make the little ring at the end. It doesn't have to be fancy. And there we go, step one complete. So then we take another flattened paper clip, bend it in half, grab our pliers. Then we add a little uh, bend at the tip, just like that. Okay, so that goes in here. And then with this thing, oh boy. We ready? That does not go in at all. I'm gonna try this one more time. Get up in there. Oh, what have I done? Oh! I'm just gonna be a really good boy. That way I don't have to go to jail and break myself out because I'm really bad at this. I think they might have it the other side down for this one. I switched the lock upside down. There we go. A few moments later. Oh my gosh. Dude, picking a lock? So much harder than I anticipated. I went straight into this. I feel so defeated right now. I'm not even gonna lie. One hour later. Ah! <sighs> I've been at this for like an hour. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If someone wants to tell me down in the comments down below, uh, please let me know. But I'm gonna have to say that this one, it doesn't work for me. <sighs> Honestly guys, I kind of feel like a failure. Um, I hope I get this next one. My ego really needs a win for the day. <laughs> okay, so here's one I think even I can do. I'm really good at breaking stuff. I just need a couple of wrenches, a boobity boop. So we just put them together. You have to make sure that they intersect, you see? One, two, and... Oh, it works! It just broke out the side thing. We're almost there. And here we go. Come on. This calls for a bigger wrench on the other side. Oh, this is gonna be easy. You ready? One, two, and... Oh, it's open. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that the wrench method absolutely works. Finally, one that actually works. I'm also just really good at breaking things, so that probably helped a lot. Expert breaker, not so expert lock picker. <laughs> Okay guys, so apparently there are supposed to be little circles on the side that hold the springs that contain the lock mechanism. But as you can see here, there are no little circles. My theory is they just put like a thin piece of metal on this, maybe soldered it on or welded it on so that you can't see them. What I'm gonna do is take my angle grinder and grind off the sides to see if I can find them. Okay guys, and so far, I found one hole and another hole. I can actually see the little springs popping out when I get to it. That's kind of funny. I can't really see the hole, but if I grind off the side, it basically does the exact same thing as drilling it. This thing is still pretty hot. Let's see if they fall out. Oh, they fell out! Dude, yeah, all the springs are coming out. It worked! Ready to see if it opens? Oh! Is there more in there? It looks like there's two more little holes. Gotta keep going, I guess. Oh, hello there. I've honestly taken off a lot of the side of the lock and now the keyhole is coming out. I don't know if that's a good sign. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be able to just turn it now. Okay, here we go. Oh, it does turn, but is it open? Oh, it's turning, it's turning. The lock will not open now. I messed up. There's still a couple holes that look like they're filled, so I'll just try drilling them out. 
Okay, does this have to be in there for it to work? Honestly, this just doesn't want to come apart. I see it in there too. Like there's nothing really keeping it together. What am I doing wrong? Maybe we'll try cutting that top one off. Whoa, got some sparks on that one. Because theoretically, it should just open right up now. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe if I drill in this one last hole right here, might as well try. Yeah, well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I don't get it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some plastic. I got this D-ring from Harbor Freight. I'm just gonna use the plastic from this. Then we get our lock and key. Oh yes, that definitely goes to it. I'm just double checking, that way I don't copy a key that doesn't work for this. That's totally something I would do. Then we're gonna bring in our clamp, put in our plastic, and just copy our key. Then using a razor blade, we're gonna cut out the key shape. I'm gonna use my pliers to make sure that the plastic stays clamped to the key. Here we go. Dude, that's really rough. Almost there. I think I've done it. I've cloned the key. Okay, you guys ready? What do you guys think? Can you even see that? Here's our lock. Boop. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. No! I don't know how, but this doesn't work. Am I just the worst life hack tester of all time, or <laughs> am I just really bad at picking locks? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one also doesn't work. Okay guys, so according to the video, we can just take some tin foil, mash it up really good, put in our key, insert it into the vise, and now we should have a little mold of our key. Honestly, you can like barely see it, but there it is. I just turned on the fan, opened my garage, so I'm sorry if it's kind of loud now, but it's for my safety, so. I don't know if I can do this. I'm not exactly like an expert soldering person or something. I got it into one solid glob. Guys, I have like this industrial strength soldering iron and this is taking forever. Well guys, I can't get the soldering iron to work so the blowtorch will have to do. It seems to be working. Let me take our razor blade and flatten it down real good. I don't know what this is supposed to, like how is this supposed to even work? I'm gonna try to just put a bunch of solder there and melt it down with a blowtorch. Oh my gosh. Flatten it out a little bit. That's like as flat as I can get it. Guys, what have I done? Dude, this is so scary. It's like completely melting away the tin foil. I don't even think the outline is there anymore. I'm just gonna push it down. Hopefully this works. Guys, this is not working at all. I can't even get the key to form with the solder. Well guys, I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. If anyone knows how to do this, please help me. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give a big ol' thumbs up. Let's make this fight right down there. If you guys wanna watch me try even more crazy life hacks from the internet, I actually have an entire playlist where I do that right here. Also, make sure to check out my reaction channel and my vlog channel. I've been uploading on those guys a lot. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye. Ah! Want to find out how I got this way? Watch the end of the next video to find out. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be making Tori Dobransky into Greta Gremlin. In case you guys don't know who that is, uh, she's from Gremlins 2, really great movie. I've actually painted Gremlins masks from Spirit Halloween before. You might remember this guy and this guy. If you guys wanna check out me painting them, you can click right here. Tori Dobransky actually loves Greta Gremlin. She has a tattoo of her on her ankle. She's really committed, she really is. And that's why today we're gonna be making her into Greta Gremlin. Okay guys, so now all we need is a Tori Dobransky. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Hello! Robbie, what did you do to your doors? Why is this one so tiny now? Okay, 
Okay, Tori Dabransky, so you know how you just love Greta Gremlin? Mm -hmm. And you even got a tattoo of her on your leg? Yes, yes. Well, today we're gonna be turning you into Greta Gremlin. <gasps> you mean it? Yes. Oh my god, thank you. I'm so excited. So the first thing we're gonna need to do, Tori, is cover you completely in latex. Oh no, that doesn't sound very fun. It's gonna be very sticky. <laughs> okay, Tori Dabransky, where do you want to start first? I think me legs. I think we should go top <laughs> down. We're gonna go top down. Why did you ask me for my input then, Robbie? Okay, <laughs> your butthole. <laughs> We also have ears for you, don't we? No. Does she have ears? Oh yeah, I have ears. I, I have ears. I got ears. Get over here. No, you don't have ears for me. Stop, I have no, ears. No, I'm scared now. <laughs> I don't trust Why? <laughs> I'm scared again. Why are you scared? <laughs> I'm just scared. What have I done? Okay, okay, I believe in you. <laughs> see, is that so bad? <laughs> You're being a little butthole. Do you guys see what I have to put up with here? Ew, ew, it just got in the crack of my finger. That was gross. Ah, yeah. oh, you like that? We got it all up in her fingers, all up on her hand. Ugh. This is gonna take a while. Are you ready to do this for a little bit? Using a very poor brush. Oh, don't, don't put it on my palms. <laughs> palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Palms are covered in latex. Eddie. <laughs> okay, Tori Dabransky. <sighs> Now it's time for you to dry off. No, please, it's cold. It's gonna be really cold. No. Why yes. is it working? Take that technology. Oh, I figured it out. No. Don't worry, I'll just stand here. You just stand there. I'm so cold. Oh I bet you are. Oh my god. How was that? Hey, good. Can I have my Coke? Here you go. What? You want me to feed it to you? I can't bend my arms. I'll do my best. Oh no. Okay, Tori Dabransky. Oh my gosh. You're looking slimy. You're looking slimy. So now we have to cover you completely in green. I'm becoming a frog. Is a gremlin technically a frog? Yeah. No. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. I want to itch my elbow so bad. Let me take some of this ice cold water. Oh god, that's way too much water. Here we go. Now bring up your arm. Bring up your soul. I think I need a bigger brush. This is gonna take a while. Okay, Tori. Can I come? Oh, look how fast yeah, isn't that, that is. That's so much nicer. Wow, this is gonna be so much faster. I miss a little bit of the black with that one. A little bit of black. Oh, that's there better. You go. Okay. Sorry, Greta. I'm getting painted over. She just disappeared. It's for the art. So Greta also has kind of like this yellow on the inside of her arms, on her stomach, and at the bottom of her legs. So I'm gonna start painting Tori's legs, this yellow color. Okay, so now we gotta paint Tori Dabransky's chest kind of yellow, and then just a streak of green right here, and then a little bit of yellow on her arms. So now I just gotta fill in her collarbone area. Real careful. Ha ha. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do some setting spray all over her. And why aren't you in uniform? So now it's time for us to add the face prosthetic, which I actually have to go paint right now. Uh, just stay right here, Tori Dabransky, I'm really sorry. Only be a second, give me a second. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is the prosthetic. It appears to be very flimsy, so this might actually be a little bit harder to paint than I thought, but it's okay, I'll make it work. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the green on the outside. I'm gonna start off with the foundation on her face, and then I'm gonna work my way out to the green on the outside. After it dries a little bit, I'm gonna start working on the lipstick, maybe some of this fun eyeliner. She has almost like a purple eyeliner, and then her little horns are kind of a yellow color. I'm gonna go ahead and put some finishing powder all over it. This will help the makeup not smear when I apply it. Kind of give it a little separation. I'm gonna add a little bit of setting spray. Go ahead and let this dry for a second. Much, much, much later. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take some red and I'm gonna start applying it to her lips. She has some really big, bright lips. Okay, this is not really working for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use real lipstick. 
I would do the lipstick, but I feel like it's about to, I mean, it's working good enough. I'll just try the lipstick. The only thing is it's about to break. So I'm scared it's gonna break off and then I'm gonna end up getting lipstick everywhere. I'm gonna use my brush to kind of spread that around. Okay guys, I got her lips all done. <laughs> Honestly, this is starting to look a little scary. I'm doing a really good job on this, if I do say so myself. And it looks like she has a little bit of yellow kind of around her nose and her cheek area on her little horns. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of that yellow. So this paint I've been using, you have to add water to it. So I just have a straw and I've just been adding a little tiny bits of water at a time. And I go and mix it up. Oh yes, that looks like a good consistency. I'm just gonna carefully paint where the yellow is really quick. I'm sort of mixing it with the green. That way it blends a little bit easier. That way it isn't just an abrupt yellow, you know? Okay, so that's looking really good. Very similar, very similar. The green admittedly is a little bit darker on her, but I'm sure it's fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of her eyeshadow. It looks like she has almost like a dark purple blue. I'm gonna be real careful when I do this. Admittedly, it does still look like makeup though when I do this, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, maybe some of these paints instead. Is that gonna work? Guys, I think I might have messed up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix this. Maybe this watercolor will work? This looks like it's about the same shade. Okay, it's starting to go on, kind of. No, it's just all mixing together. It's making like this gross brown color. I'm gonna ask Tor Dobransky what I should do from here. Five minutes later. Okay, so I have found some more body paint. This one's purple, kind of like her eyes. So this one should go on okay. Oh, my savior. Tori Dobransky, thank you so much for bringing this to me. I forgot to mention this is actually uh, Tori's purple body paint. She uses it for uh, Dobby from My Hero Academia. Tori likes to cosplay him. So I'm gonna try my best with the winged eyeliner. I really am. The only thing I can really think of is maybe using something like this with a flat edge and just, you know, really making sure that it's sharp. You'd think from all these makeup hacks, I would know how to do this the best way possible, but none of them really prepared me for prosthetics like this. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. Uh, we got all of her makeup on. I did kind of an okay job on the eyeshadow. As you can see, uh, she has kind of like white in her eyeshadow right there, but it blends to almost a purple. I'm not super great at blending yet, uh, so I'm gonna ask Tori for some tips when I stick that on her face, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, Tori Dobransky, are you ready for your brand new prosthetic? That's not me. Oh, this isn't the prosthetic I'm no. gonna use on you? No. What? I have my gold. Oh, sorry. I'll be right back. You can't believe this guy. He calls himself a professional crafter. Hey! Here you go. Here oh my god. Brand new. My face. My face now. Here is your brand new prosthetic. Almost. It's gonna look absolutely okay. fantastic. Yes. You just wanna be inside of it. It looks a little off. Mm. You look a little off. Yeah, I know. And by off, I mean it's a little too big. It's falling off of your face. Ooh! My name is Greta! Okay guys, so now we're gonna grab our good old neighborhood Prosade. I'm gonna put the Prosade all on the edge. And then I think the, the trick with this is you have to wait a second for it to start to get tacky before it starts uh, sticking to you. So I gotta put a bunch of this Prosade all on the edges. And I'm also gonna put some on the edge of Tor Dobransky's face. And then just a little bit on the outside. Yeah, just a little bit on the bottom. And I'm gonna carefully put it onto her face. And I'm gonna have to get some Prosade on the bottom right here. So now we gotta add her wig. Then we add her ears. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. You got some Greta Gremlin ears. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a great rest of your year. So the first video that I'm going to be posting today is an eyeshadow tutorial. Okay, so now Tori is going to add some eyeshadow to underneath her eyes. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. We even gave Tori Dobransky some nails. Wow. We should have filmed us going to the nail salon. It would have been hilarious. They didn't know what the heck to do. They were just very confused. They were like, what is that? We're just kidding, keep in my hand. So we started at two and now it's about 6 p.m. So this took us four hours to do. I think it was worth it. Overall, yeah, I think that it turned out really good. Oh my God, I'm a little gremlin. 
I'm gonna go ahead and wear my gremlin mask while you wear your credit the gremlin costume. I can't see it all in this. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> wow, don't we look like just a fantastic couple? You look so cute together. Wear a mogwai! <laughs> Aren't we such a cute little Mogwai couple? She really likes me for my long ears. Ooh, what, my, what long ears you have. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Mogwai, 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 Gremlins party. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this uh, movie special effects Greta makeup absolutely works. Would recommend. Okay guys, so now we're gonna call our good friend Luna Ghostus and see what she thinks of the new Greta makeup. This is gonna be Tori Branski's everyday look after all. <laughs> hey, Luna Ghostus, how's it going? Hi! Hey, there's something really cool I wanna show you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here it is. <laughs> What do you think? I love it! <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, oh, I got kisses! I turned Tori Dabratsky into a gremlin. I bet she's in love with it. She absolutely loves it, and now she's stealing the phone. She's running around with the phone. Are you ever gonna take that off? No. Tori's gonna wear this every single day. It took us about four hours to do, um, and she asked me to do this every day for the next year. We signed a contract, and uh, this is gonna be her new everyday look. She really looks like she's <laughs> She's really in her element. What would you rate this uh, this makeup look? Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Absolutely perfect. You hear that, guys? We got a 10 out of 10. Thanks, Luna Ghostess. Oh, oh, I got one, too. <laughs> well, that's all I needed. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. <laughs> so welcome. Okay. okay, bye. Let's see. I'm going to try calling uh, Johnny Gilbert next. How you doing, my boy? Uh, fine. So, hey, how much do you like the Gremlin movies? Decently, I can see something going on. <laughs> Tori, come on, don't be shy. Show Johnny your new look. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's so impressive. <laughs> Robbie, your girlfriend looks a little different. I'm not gonna lie. It's like green and banana color a little bit. Like a watermelon. This is gonna be uh, Tori Dabransky's brand new makeup look. She's ready to go. I'm so that I can't make it. Birthday, you know, I just feel like, you know. What? You're not gonna make it to Tori's birthday? Well, since she looks like that, maybe not. <laughs> if you can't understand her, she said she's gonna shoot you over the phone. <laughs> Bro, that is crazy. That's so good. That's like probably one of the best looks you guys have done by far. That's so good. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Who else should we call? Hair Jordan. Okay, so Hair Jordan, I actually have something I want to show you. Um, this is Tori Bransky's brand new makeup look, and I think you're absolutely gonna love it. Tori Bransky, get over here. Come here. <laughs> here she is. Oh my God. What a gremlin. This took four hours to do. <laughs> what would you rate this makeup look, Chris? Uh, dude, that's a 10 out of 10. Honestly, that's a 10 out of 10. We did it! Okay guys, we got three 10 out of 10s and everyone seems to absolutely love this makeup look. Let me know if you guys think that Tori should actually wear this every single day down in the comments down below and we might just uh, make that happen. Ooh, wait, wait, a day in a life as a gremlin? Ah! Are you kidding me? Tori, I keep asking you to go to Costco and you don't want to go to Costco with me. But cause that's cause gremlins wouldn't go to Costco, Robbie. They are target people, are you kidding? Okay, that's fine. I think I did a good job on this one. Oh no, Andrew! Oh! You got all these screws everywhere! I know, I messed up! I messed up real bad, man. I hope no one steps in this. Oh, no, I already did. Oh, wait, where's the screw? We gotta do the makeup really quick for the screw. Let's do it for the video. Okay, we're gonna put a screw in my foot. Do you see it? Is it good? Is it good? Then we're gonna get a clamp, clamp our screw. Now that we got that clamped, we're gonna take our hot glue gun, get a big old glob of hot glue, and just put it right in there. And then we just wait for it to solidify. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our makeup cart. This has all my makeup from the video effects stuff I've done over the years. I've really come up with quite a collection. So we're gonna need some eyelash glue and some fake blood. Oops. Oh, I broke the cap. Maybe a few brushes. Oh, yes. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of scar wax. Now I'm gonna break out my very dirty foot. I've been walking around the craft corner barefoot, so that's why it's so dirty. I'm, I'm very sorry. So now we're gonna take our screw with the hot glue on it and put some eyelash adhesive right on that bad boy. I think I might have put way too much, so let's hope that this actually dries. I'm just gonna stick that right on there. And now. We wait for that to dry. The following Thursday. Now I'm gonna take some of the scar wax. 
Oh, that is very, very stiff star scar wax. I think I need to heat this up a little bit. It's also very cold in the craft corner this morning. Yeah, I think I need to microwave this a little bit. <laughs> It just doesn't even want to go on there. I'm just gonna try my best to just stick this right on my foot. Just blend it all in. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Okay, now that we got all of our scar wax on and I blended it in, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a layer of makeup on this just to help match the skin tone so it blends in a little bit. I don't wanna put my makeup directly on my foot, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that's better. Just get a little paintbrush, and just paint it all on there. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Dude. Dude, that is actually looking really good. Oh my gosh. That's actually turning out really good. That's really spooky. Next, we're gonna use a little bit of finishing powder. I'm just brushing this powder onto my foot. Wow, honestly, that's really spooky. That's really good. Next, we're gonna add some fake blood and just get it all up on there. Oh yeah. Oh my God, there's so much blood. Look at this very real screw that I stepped on. I mean, the screw is real, just not the wound. I'm faking my wound. And this is how it turned out. That turned out way better than I thought it would. Now I have this wound in my foot. I have the screw in my foot and I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver to get it out. Oh my gosh, I got a screw right in my foot. Oh! <laughs> well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Now let's go scare the intern. If you guys wanna see that video, you can click right over here. Okay guys, so here's our cyborg prosthetic. I got this off of a random website. I'll link it down in the description down below. Same thing with all the other prosthetics I did in this video. Anyway, for this one, I think I'm gonna have someone else explain this entire makeup tutorial for me. <laughs> Toby, you can take it from here. But Robbie, I know nothing about DIY SFX movie makeup. But I'll do my best. Okay, so I think the first thing you're gonna wanna do is paint all the human looking parts, all the skin, and just make it look as real as possible, I guess. I'll do my best, Toby. Oh yeah, it's gonna need uh, some of this. Maybe a little bit of, of that. Uh, a couple of these. Maybe one of those. A little bit of that. Oh, and I definitely need one of these. Yeah, so you just grab uh, that thing and you just smear it on there and make his skin look like skin, I guess. Yeah, that's looking more like skin by the second. Then, once you're done with that, you grab yourself a beauty blender and you just start blending it right in, I guess. And then, you're gonna wanna put some finishing powder. A boobity boop. Oh, wow. That really smooths out the skin a lot, not gonna lie. It makes it look so much more realistic. That's kind of scary. Wow, this is looking great already. Next, let's do the teeth. Okay, teeth coming right up. Oh yes, get some acrylic white paint. This one's metallic white, so it's gonna be extra white. It blends in with the plate, that's how white it is. Carefully paint these bad boys nice and white, which in retrospect, I feel like this guy would actually have like corn cob yellow teeth just based on how he's been taking care of himself so far. I mean, he has to have cybernetic implants just to survive. Do you think he really cares about his teeth? Now that the teeth are nice and pearly white, you're gonna wanna shade in the gums. So this pink looks like it would be a good gum color, I guess. Yeah, I think that'll work for gum color. Maybe a little darker. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Just paint in all the gums real carefully. This is really a time consuming process. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, those are looking really scary now. So next, I think we should start filling in the cyborg part. For that, I think you should use some metallic paint. I think I'm gonna start at the outside first. Oh boy, am I gonna be able to use this? Oh man, that is some bright gold paint. He's gonna have some bling on his face. Wow, look how gold that is. That's awesome. Just paint all that in there. Just really fill up all this cybernetic material. Oh no, it's the Internatron 5000! Robbie, I'm coming to you from the future. Add some gray in the eye. He is just a gray eye. Not to be confused with AI. This is a gray eye. Get it right. A silver eye? I'm just gonna fill in some of this other stuff with the gray. That honestly already looks way better. Look how cool that is. And now I just have to do the other side. Intern, your cybernetic implant is showing intern. Tell me, how do you think the cybernetic implant turned out? Well, Robbie, it turned out absolutely fantastic. Thanks for helping me with this, Toby. No problem. I just kind of guessed everything I had to do. Oh. I kind of figured. <laughs> Okay, bring in the intern. Where am I? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you ready to get some upgrades, intern? <laughs> upgrades? I thought I was getting promotion. <laughs> okay, intern. Oh, oh. oh yeah. 
guess I'm gonna have to take these. Uh, you don't need these anymore. That's my fifth pair of glasses this year! Okay, intern, you ready for your operation? What the hell, dude? Can I get the prosthetic? Prosthetic? Do you like your new face, intern? No, I didn't sign up for plastic surgery. It's not plastic, it's latex. <laughs> Prosade? Intern, hold this for me, come on. I can't. Stop, I can't. <laughs> Stop! Hey, brush. Yeah. Hold that for me. Thank you. <laughs> Don't move, intern. If this prosade gets in your hair, we're gonna have to shave it. <laughs> Don't worry, I know you didn't like your red, your red hair anyway. Okay, that looks like it's all ready to go on your face. Paper towel. It's on my lips. Let me get that for you. Is that better? Is that good? Okay, and spit. <laughs> it's like you're at the dentist. Sorry, it was a bad joke. It's time for your upgrade intern. Be very still, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. The Internatron 5000! The prosthetic has been adhesed. How are you feeling, intern? Big me poop up. Put up John Connor. John Connor. The Terminator movies. Oh, I messed up. I might need to rewatch Terminator. Okay, in turn, you're looking absolutely fantastic, I have to say. I like your second row of teeth inside of there. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, quit it, in turn. Is this the reboot? <laughs> now we have to try and blend it all into your face. Turn me into a real boy. Okay, can I get a fan? Oh, thank you. Okay, in turn. Here you go. Didn't mean to blow you off like that. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? No. <laughs> so how are you feeling, intern? Operational levels are at a solid 2%. Well, I think that's fantastic. That's way better than before. Out of 100. Hand me the blending apparatus. Just gonna get in here and just really blend it all out. Turn your head like this, intern. Just stop pulling my hair. <laughs> Oh, yes. We'll get it all in there. It really looks like you are one with this implant, intern. Is that sarcasm? No. You truly are one with it. And I respect that. Oh, yes, and some of this. This cybernetic implant truly is a marvel for modern society. I'm really glad that they have these nowadays, aren't you? No. I think this, uh, uh, this implant's really gonna revolutionize the channel. It's gonna be good for your overall value of life. Value? That's not right. Your overall, I don't know that sounds bad. Quality? Quality of life? Honestly concerning, are you okay? Oh yes, this is gonna be a tr true increase in quality of life for you in turn, and I think you're absolutely gonna love this. I am miserable. Add a little bit of setting spray. A little bit more fan. Is that good? Do you like it? No. It's time to be free in turn. Be free in turn. At last. Well, what do you think? I think I look hideous. Here, let me fix your hair. You look a lot better with your hair down, that's for sure, yeah. Cybernetic intern, I like it. You're looking good. You parted it the wrong way. Oh, that that's what was off about you. Oh my bad. I'm looking disgusting. Ugh. This is gross. Ah! Why would you do this? Here, let's show them in the light, intern. Whoa, intern, you look really great. I feel gross. But you're a cybernetic intern now. You're ready to tackle the world. You're oh. the new modern age. I could take over the world. Uh, no, you're don't, right. no, don't. Yes. Intern. <laughs> Well, guys, I don't know if that's gonna work. Come in, Trevor. Guys, the intern's gone mad. Get over here. No. <laughs> no, man. Oh, no. 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 Oh, we have to run away from the cybernetic intern. Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm gonna be turning myself into Mr. Hyde. Like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that Mr. Hyde. So as you can see, he has some really crazy looking teeth. He has a nice big nose. He's looking very cartoon character-like. Now, I think the first thing I have to do is actually remove all the extra foam that came with this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and be real careful and just snip away the excess. Just snip it all away, snip all your cares away. Oh yes, even get up in that mouth, get up in these teeth. Oh, I forgot the nose holes. Not the nose holes! It looks like he has a boogie in there. Oh yes, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick Dr. Hyde's nose. <laughs> 
start off with this concealer stick. You can really use any kind of concealer or foundation. I use them interchangeably, which you're really not supposed to apparently, but I do it anyway because it's all the same to me. Okay, now that we got his complexion all cleared up, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this bad boy's teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and use some more metallic whites. This is acrylic paint, and just get that paint all up in there. Oh yes, you got some nice pearly whites. Now I'm just gonna go in with some metallic yellow and kind of give him almost some corn cob teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and sort of scoop this up, scoop that in there, scoop that up, and then mix, mix, mix. We have that nice corn cob color. Put it in between his teeth. He has some really placked up teeth. It almost looks like mustard. I don't know if I like this. Just gonna blend that out just a little bit with a beauty blender. Then I'm gonna start adding some color to his gums. Maybe some color like this. Oh yes, that looks like a good color. The gums are complete. Now I think I'm gonna go in with a little palette. Just a little bit of blush to his cheeks, you know? He's blushing, he's embarrassed. What can he say? He's just a little embarrassed. It's not blushy enough. Any more blush. Oh yes, this palette should do. I just need a little bit of that red. A little bit of blush on his nose. And then I have some of this green makeup. I kind of want to give him almost like a green overtone. You're supposed to add water to this, but I'm just going to use it almost like a powder. Just adding a little bit of green accent. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Just got to add a little bit of finishing powder to finish everything off. And a little bit of setting spray. Dude, this turned out so awesome. And now it's time to go put this on my face. Welcome to my basement. It's where we keep my stunt double. So today, this guy is gonna be uh, Dr. Jekyll, he's gonna be the normal one, and I am gonna be Mr. Hyde. <sighs> anyway, let's apply the prosthetic. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the prosthetic, put it back on the, the mask thing, grab some Prosaid, go ahead and apply that to our mask all around the perimeter. Now it's time to apply the prosthetic to my face. It's gonna pull all the hair back. Oh no, I got Prosaid in my hair already. Oh, I'm totally getting this all on my eyebrows. Later. Okay, now carefully apply it to my face. Oh yes, push it all up in there. Oh gosh, is that on there? Real good. Give myself a facelift right now. Go in and apply some more Prosade. Okay, now I need to get it underneath my lips. I'm getting progressively more uncomfortable. It's getting really hard to talk, not gonna lie. Looks like I'm pretty good. <laughs> I did a really good job on the, on the gums. That looks really good on video. Oh my gosh. You push in the eyes a little bit. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Blending. What do we do? This is looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and let the prosade dry a little bit. I'm also getting my workout right now. I'm gonna get so swole. Uh... Okay guys, so unfortunately, I wasn't supposed to glue this down yet. I need to put my makeup where my mouth is. There we go, we're gonna match the gum color. Okay, wow, that's a lot better actually. <sighs> Wow, so now I'm just gonna go and blend in all the edges of the mask. I think I might have ran out of concealer. Oh no, she's cocking out. No, I don't know if this is gonna match or not. It's kind of close. Is that close? Is this even concealer? Now it's time to blend, blend, blend. It doesn't even fit in my eye hole. And this is a cut in half beauty blender. Okay guys, I blended it all in. I did the very best I could. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some setting powder. Hopefully the setting powder helps. Then a little bit of setting spray. <coughs> now I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a uh, smoky eye. Just a little bit of black under the eye. Oh, that's a little too black. I think we're going for almost like a bruising. Like you're very tired under the eye. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the smoky eye, guys. Just rubbing it all in there. I think we're about done. I'm gonna go ahead and take down my hair. Honestly, that's pretty sick. With the hair down, it covers all the seams and it looks a lot better. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Let's go show off my new makeup look. <laughs> Oh, hi, 
Tori Dabransky. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Do you like being my friend? I don't like being your friend. It's old Robbie, you know? The lame Robbie. <laughs> we don't even need this guy anymore. <laughs> like him. No one really happy hey, though. Oh, I'm such a happy guy. I was so scared. I just walk out and I just see you walking towards me like that. You're so creepy. No. No, don't talk to me. So creepy. I don't like your second I'm Mr. Hyde. Please stop. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Come on, bud. We got a job to do. In camera guy, get out of Come on. Come on. Why do you look so ugly? I'm the new Robbie. Uh -huh. This is the old Robbie. Get that guy out of here. Not gonna lie, I like the old Robbie better. Oh, well, the new Robbie's here to stay. <laughs> bro, your breath stinks, bro. <laughs> that's hell. Jesus Christ, bro, wash your teeth. Wash your teeth. You want me to get some gum? Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy, dude? Uh, I got your gum right here, boy. Oh my God, why are you making a mess? Stop making a mess. <laughs> Oh my god, you're making a mess. It's all over the floor. I have to that up. It hurts my feelings. Jesus Christ. Well, guys, I think we have another satisfied uh, customer. No, no, because I have to clean all this up. Okay, I'll see you later in turn. Okay. watching the video if you like to make sure you give it a big old thumbs up it looks something like this and you can find it right down there if you guys like this video make sure to check out my other videos i have a whole playlist you can check out right here okay guys love you so much peace love and wi-fi awkward ending okay bye i should have put my hair back before i start doing oh i'm getting honey in my eye ah rose water and honey in my eye oh no ah, get out of here but it doesn't want to stick on my face Guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner, and today we're gonna be trying life hacks from the video. Life hacks: DIY beauty masks and face masks by Blusher. Now let's try some of these hacks. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're gonna need is our little stove. Then we get our pot, turn that bad boy on, add our water, wait for that to boil. Okay, that's uh, basically boiling, it's close enough. Go ahead and add our hibiscus tea. This one's actually hibiscus, strawberry, and raspberry. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. I might actually try and drink some of this. Will I be able to drink this even? <laughs> It's gonna be like a jelly paste. So I'm gonna try and, I might eat some of this jelly paste. Should I put sugar in it? Maybe not, cause this is going on my face. I don't know how many to put in, I'm just gonna put in a bunch. Just make it really hibiscus-y, mix that up. And we're supposed to add agar agar, but I don't have any. Um, but I do have this gelatin, which is basically the same exact thing. It just uses crushed up animal bones. Gelatin's not vegan, in case you guys didn't know that. Just really get it all in there, mix it up. It it smells great, honestly. Guys, um, I think I might need to retire this stove because I got stuff all over it and it keeps smoking really bad. It's okay, hopefully we'll have our fire extinguisher ready just in case. You can never be too prepared, you know? Okay, so now that this is all done, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this off to the side. Go ahead and grab our bowl and then we pour the liquid in. Oh boy, that's a lot of tea jello. <laughs> I'm definitely trying this when it solidifies. And then it said to just cool it, so I'm gonna go ahead and shove this thing in my fridge for a couple hours. Three days later. Okay guys, so the jello has jellified. Look at that, I can hold it all the way upside down and it's not falling out, not even at the slide. Wow, I'm actually really... Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our brush and we're just gonna dip it in. They use kind of a silicone brush, but you know what? 
This is the brush I have. As you can see, this brush is really picking up everything. Maybe I have to mix it up a little bit. Theirs look kind of mixed up. Oh, that looks great. I kind of want to try some. I don't like that. Why do I spit it back in? I'm putting this on my face. Oh, I'm not excited for this, guys. But I'll do it for you. I'll do it for the craft. Oh my God, that's so cold. I didn't even think about that. For some reason, I thought this would be warm and enjoyable and relaxing, but instead, it's just cold and dark. And kind of gross, but it's actually sticking my face. Oh! I'm doing it for the craft. 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 Oh, that's so cold. Oh my gosh. Why is it not sticking that well? Can I just grab it and just... I don't know what it is, but it doesn't want to stick on my face. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay on my face. I can get a clump like that to stick on my face for a sec. Oh gosh. Guys, it's not sticking, which is really unfortunate because I was looking forward to a nice, relaxing jelly face mask. Well, this one doesn't work. Well, guys, I was going to use this for the thumbnail uh, to stick on my face, but it didn't even work. So I guess I'm going to have to come up with something else for the thumbnail. Really a shame this didn't work. It definitely had potential. I'm just going to go ahead and get some cotton balls, put them inside there, and then I'm going to grab some fake blood. Pour some of that in there. Oh yes. Just mix it all up in there. This is truly gonna be interesting. It smells like cherries. I'm gonna start pulling these apart a little bit. These will definitely stick to my face. If this dyes my skin red, I'm gonna be so sad because we're literally going to get sushi after this. Oh yeah, that's working. I think that's gonna work. Oh, perfect. Guys, this was a great plan. Probably one of my best plans I've ever had. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, it just fell off. Okay, maybe not. Just keep shoving these all on my face. They keep trying to fall off, but you know what? It's fine. I'm a strong person and I can survive this. It feels like I'm, this is kind of actually really disgusting. I'm a professional VFX makeup artist. Oh my God. Ah! Okay, now it's time to recreate the thumbnail before all these fall off. Let's go. <laughs> I love being friends with you, Mr. Gingerbread Man. <laughs> What's that? You want to wear a lipstick that's two different colors? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. And the first thing I'm going to need is some lipstick. Hey, Mr. jack o lantern do you have any lipstick for me? No. <laughs> What's with all these tiny pumpkins? Mr. Pumpkin? Wait, Mr. Pumpkin, are you a cannibal? Oh no! I've been found up! Oh, oh no! Oh, get out of here! It's okay, little pumpkins. I saved you from them! Here you go, guys. Your new home with other Mr. Pumpkin. I'm just gonna put you guys under here. Other Mr. Pumpkin, can you please keep them nice and safe for me? I'll do my best. Okay, so anyway, now that we have our lipsticks. Oh, look, guys. They have little lips on them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we just grab our lipsticks. And then we fully extend these bad boys. So we're gonna take our lipsticks. And now we're gonna do a little surgery. <laughs> Just be real careful. Just cut this guy right in half, just like that. And cut the other side. Boom. Now I have to do the same thing with this one. Be real careful. Oh, yes. Now we must carefully pull this over. Oh, gosh. Get over here. Yes. They're merging. I'm trying to pick up my other lipstick, and it's not going so great. It sort of melted to the table. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna break out our torch and just start melting it together. Oh boy, that melted so fast. They melt so fast. Put it back together. No! It's tearing me apart! Okay, you got this. No, go back in there. Put that back in, and boom! We have our dual lipstick. Now let's go try it out. <laughs> okay, Mr. Gingerbread Man, your lipstick is ready. Are you happy now? What a happy guy! Well, guys, I think um, you can actually see that it made two different colors. So I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a water bottle. Luckily, my buddy Jake Carlini left this the last time he visited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the top. I'm gonna keep the top so that I can have some of his DNA so I can clone him later. Then the next thing I'm gonna need to do is make a little slit. This feels very dangerous to do. You should also do this on a counter if you do it. 
Oh, yes. The slit is complete. So now we're gonna take our hair dryer, and theirs actually had an attachment to it to make it kind of like flat. I don't have one of those for this hair dryer, but I do have duct tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right around it, and hopefully this will make it a nice flat attachment. I think I f***ed up. <laughs> Okay, plan B. I'm gonna still make it, but I'm gonna not put the sticky side inside. Just line these two up, there we go. There we go. And now we have a flat thing. As you can see, it's blowing real flat. It's working really good. I'm just hoping that the heat doesn't melt the duct tape. That's the only downside I could see to this. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna try this bad boy on my hair. Just shove it right in there. And apparently you're supposed to get perfect waves in your hair. Just put this right up to it, into the slit. So now my hair should just swirl around. You ready? In three, two, one. It's getting very hot. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is very hot. Uh, oh, oh, guys, I have the smallest curl in my hair. <gasps> That's amazing. I have a tiny curl. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that it worked on my hair. I was actually gonna try this with slightly longer hair. Oh, hidden camera guy. Hello. Hey, Hidden Camera Guy. So you have extremely long and luscious hair, and I was wondering if I could borrow it for a craft. Yes. Perfect, thank you so much. So, have you ever wanted uh, luscious curls in your hair? Yeah. Well, today's the day. So we're just gonna put your hair right in here. Just shove it all in there. Is this safe? I don't know, it's a five minute craft. Mm. Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before, so um, I think you're in perfectly good hands. Okay. So then we're just gonna... Extreme curl. It just nodded it. But it's so curly. Dude, that's cr it curled it. it. That's a curl. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna have to say that this 100% works. Do you like your new curls, Hidden Camera Guy? Yeah, uh, I guess. It's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great job, Five Minute Crafts. Great job. I don't even think this was Five Minute Crafts, actually. Really? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some beauty blenders. These are kind of dirty, but I feel like I could make them even more dirty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break out a makeup palette. Maybe just mix some blue in there. Maybe some green. A little bit of pink. Oh yes. Smear it all in. There we go. That's nice and dirty. Okay, so now that this is nice and dirty, we're gonna go ahead and grab a jar. Put some dish soap in here. I'm gonna do it like Starbucks, you know? Like when they put the caramel in. Whoa, I made like a swirl. Look at that. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. I should work at Starbucks. You guys should hire me. Then we add a little bit of water. And I don't even think they mixed it, so I'm just gonna plop that in. Get that in there. Go ahead and mix up our beauty blender a little bit. Then we go ahead and grab this bad boy. And put it in the microwave for one minute. Ooh, I can smell the clean. Okay, let's see how this bad boy turned out. Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. Oh, I guess now we should have a perfectly cleaned beauty blender. It's still pretty hot, so I'm gonna use a fork to fish it out. Hopefully this doesn't maim me. Oh my God, it's so much bigger, look at that. Wow, that was a lot of water. Put the juice back in for later. Some people strain their pasta, I strain my beauty blender. Look at that, it definitely looks a lot cleaner. It's still very hot, oh my gosh. And it's so jiggly. Woo, woo. There's still water. Oh, there's boiling water in there. What do you guys think? Does it look cleaner? I think it looks a lot cleaner, except for maybe like the sides. The green doesn't really want to come out. Maybe if I like scrubbed it a little bit. I mean, a lot of it did come out. So I'm gonna say for the most part, this one actually works. We have our cloth. This is just a bed sheet that I stole from uh, our bed. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like this. I really hope this isn't too big. It might be a little bit too big, but if it is, I'm sure I can fix it. So we go out like this, we tie it together. I just choked myself. So over like this, I feel like a wizard already. So you like tie it into a thing. 
Okay, looks good. Tie it like this, and then I think you put it over her head like that. What? Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. Back to square one, got it? To review, like that, then we tie these tips together. Oh, it's just the tips. Put that over here. So we grab these uh, wings, and then one goes under the armpit, then it wraps around. Oh, I think I've done it. I feel fabulous. <laughs> Guys, I look awesome. I'm gonna wear this every single day. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys think this should be my new everyday look. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works, 1,000%. If I get cold, I can just wear it, you know, just pull, pull it up a little bit, and I'm just nice and warm. I absolutely love this one, actually. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna have to break out sweat, and I know the perfect way to do it. Oh, intern! Yo, what's up, dude? I need you to train me for an ultra marathon. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I love marathons. Perfect, let's start the training montage. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Robin, keep punching, keep punching. You got this, don't give up, don't give up. Keep fighting, come on, come on, don't be tired. You got more energy than that in you, Robbie. Keep on going, Robbie. Go, go, Robbie, go, Robbie. Yeah, you got this, you got this. One, two, three, four, go back again, come on. Fight through that, like you're off and doing the obstacles in your life. What are you doing, calling? It's gross! Your sweet, sweet sweat. Okay, so we got a coffee filter. I had these in my pocket the entire time, just for this occasion. They were weighing you down. How is that, intern? I'm less sweaty. That's looking a lot better. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one completely works. <laughs> yeah, it works. First thing we're gonna need is some roses. And then we take off all the petals. Oh wow, you really get a lot of rose petals with this. I didn't know that one rose had this many petals. Oh yeah, oh wow. I don't think I've ever actually played with real rose petals. I've always been too scared because they're so expensive just to like rip them apart. So now that we have all of our rose petals, we're gonna get ourselves some boiling water and just dump them right in there. Mix, mix, mix. Make some nice rose water. <sighs> Oh yes, delicious. Now apparently the trick is to take out the rose petals. Oh God, oh that's hot. Okay, now that all of our rose petals are out, we're gonna go ahead and put some of this water in this bowl. Oh boy, that's hot. Oh, I'm getting this everywhere. I did my best. Then we're gonna grab ourselves some honey. This is some Nevada desert bee honey. Oh yes, high quality honey. That looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it? It has kind of a bitter dirt taste. <laughs> it's not bad honey though, I gotta admit. Look how thick that is. I don't want to contaminate the honey, so I'm just gonna get a fork. Just get a big old glob of it. Oh yes. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it all in there until the honey is completely dissolved. Oh wow, that was fast. Then we're gonna go ahead and transfer this to our rose petals. I'm putting this on my face. Please tell me I let them cool off first at least. I'm gonna blow on them. Then what, I just start sticking these guys on there? Oh wow, this feels fancy. Oh yes, I can feel my age just slipping off of my face already. I'm gonna look 
so young after this. This is so soothing and so therapeutic. Honestly, take me to a spa. Just keep blowing it off and just keep sticking it to my face. Oh yes, it's still very hot. You can see the steam coming off of it, but I'm just gonna continue to stick this all over my face. Just put that on my nose, under my eyes. Oh, I just quit even blowing on them because I'm impatient. They're just very hot. There we go. I should have put my hair back before I start doing that. Oh, I'm getting honey in my eye. Ah, rose water, honey in my eye. This tastes absolutely fantastic. I would love to try a tea with this. Can I, I'm gonna try drinking this really quick. It's actually not bad. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes, so I think it's time for me to wipe all this off. That's very sticky, but my face. Oh my gosh. It might be sticky, but it's actually so smooth. Guys, this was the most therapeutic thing I've done all year. Granted, we're only like a week into the year, but still. So I'm gonna have to say that this 100% works. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a big old thumbs up. Looks like this minute right down there. If you guys like this video, or you guys wanna see even more beauty life hacks, I actually have an entire playlist that you can check out right here. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again next Saturday. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending, okay, bye. Ah!